Hey there, CPO here, and in this video, we're doing another Reader's Ride segment. In this case, I'm gonna highlight a few different Reader's Rides, and uh, you're gonna get the pleasure of hearing me read out their build sheet. So Reader's Ride is my homage to the old school car magazines where people would send in pictures and uh, build sheets for their rides. And before the internet, that's the only way you could see what other people were running. So I'm rocking at Reader's Rides, old school. You're gonna see some pictures, maybe some videos, and I'll talk to you a little bit about what they have said their ride consists of. Let's get to the first one. All right, this is John Hall's 2015 JKU Rubicon. He's running 35 inch Nittos on this. Uh, on his front bumper, he's running Rugged Ridge with a Rugged Ridge 8,500 pound winch. And he's got Smitty Belt rock rails all the way back to the rear Smitty Belt bumper and tire carrier. Underneath, he's got some protection with a rock hard 4x4 oil and transmission pan skid plate. And for differential protection, up front, he's running the Rancho Rock Gear front diff cover and glide plate. And then in the rear, he's running a TerraFlex rear diff cover and AEV rear diff skid plate. His lift is a 3 inch TerraFlex with all eight adjustable control arms. Uh, he's got a high lift jack, an axe, and a shovel all mounted in the back, a Cobra CB with a fire stick antenna, KC lights up front mounted to the windshield. He's got a fire extinguisher, good for him, an ARB high output air compressor, a Viair one gallon air tank. He's running Smitty Built limb risers and Rugged Ridge aluminum hood latches. His fenders are Smitty Built flux, and he's running the fishbone inner fender liners up front. For steering, he's running a Fusion 4x4, 2.5 ton tie rod and drag link. He's got the TerraFlex Monster Track Bar and a Fox Steering Stabilizer. And finally, for lighting up front, he's got Vision X fog lights and Euro Exotic headlights. That, my friend, is a nice ride. All right, next up is Ron Hill's 2013 JK Unlimited, a 3 inch BDS lift and shocks on it along with 35 inch Goodyear Duratrac tires. He's running JCR from front to rear with both the front and rear bumpers and those sliders that get you from the front to the back. He's rocking a Smitty Built X20 winch and he's got KC A-pillar and front bumper fog lights. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this out. I kind of take a little bit of credit for helping him name this Jeep. I actually know Ron. We actually went wheeling together for the first time in our Jeeps, both at the same time, out at Roush Creek in Tremont, Pennsylvania. And it was a great experience. Unfortunately, he and I have not had an opportunity to wheel together again just because of scheduling conflicts. But eventually, we're gonna get back out there together, Ron. I promise you. So anyway, that is Ron Hill's Jeep and uh, yeah. Let's go wheeling again, Ron, come on. All right, this next one is from Ryan Moy. It's a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Sport. I only have this one photo, but it doesn't matter because it's an awesome photo. Uh, so thanks, Ryan, for this one. So on his, he's rocking 35 inch BF Goodrich KM2 tires on 17 inch Mickey Thompson Baja Classic wheels. He's running a three inch zone lift and zone nitro shocks. He's got a Magnaflow rock crawler exhaust system and he's rocking a lot of rugged ridge. He's got the XHD stubby front bumper. He's got the 8,500 pound winch. He's got the XHD rear bumper, and he's got XHD rock sliders, and he's got a heavy duty Spartacus rugged ridge tire carrier, and also them hood latches, they're rugged ridge. He's also a big fan of JW Speaker because he's running their headlights and their front turn signals and their fog lights and their tail lights. He's running Ridge Industry Dually Midnight Edition Spotlights. He's got a rugged ridge switch panel that lets him control it all. He's also got a Cobra 75 WXSTCB. That is the JK standard issue CB radio. He's got the High Lift Extreme Jack. And uh, hey, same one I have, good call. He's got divers down seat covers and bushwhacker bug deflector. What he's working on next, he says, will be gears, lockers, and fenders. So anyway, Ryan, nice ride. And finally up in this episode of Reader's Rides, we have Christopher Leonard's 2014 JKU. Yeah, it used to be a sport, now it's just badass. He's got a two and a half inch rock crawler lift, rock crawler lower control arms. He's running Rancho RS5000X shocks. 
He's running a Carolina Metal Masters tie rod, Steer Smart's Yeti adjustable track bar in the front. He's running the JCR Crusader front bumper, Super Winch Tiger Shark 9,000 pound winch, JCR Classic Rock Sliders. He's running the Rock Hard 4x4 engine and transmission skid plate. He's got a Terraflex spare tire carrier, a unit in Bearcat CB. What? That's not standard issue. What are you doing, man? He's got Carolina Metal Masters grab handles and grab bar, and he's rocking the 67 Designs two ball mount to hold his electronic accessories. And finally, rubber to the dirt with 35 inch tread right guard dogs. So coming soon, he's expecting to upgrade to three and a half inch rock crawler springs and an RTAC truss for the front Dana 30. He wants an RTEC heavy duty front raise track bar bracket, an RTEC rear track bar bracket, and an RTEC rear lower control arm brackets with skids. Definitely sounds like he's an RTEC fan. Anyway, Chris is also local to me. He and I have wheeled several times. So uh, it's been awesome uh, hanging out with you, Chris, and it's nice to see your ride coming along. Thanks, man, and uh, looking good. So that's it guys, that's this episode of Reader's Rides. If you want your ride represented in Reader's Rides, you can jump to the O3D Jeeps Facebook group. I've got a pinned post up there where you can post your build sheet and some pictures and videos if you want. The easier you make it on me, the better it is for all of us. Uh, some guys have put up full walk around videos. That's super helpful because it means I don't have to do a lot of work, uh, but I'm happy to read your build list and uh, show up your ride. So keep them coming. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one.